Hi, it's time for another episode of Nick's Nerd Network, and I'm Nick, and it's Pride season, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a glitter beard for yourself, even if you don't have facial hair. It's super easy, super simple, it takes about 40 minutes to do. All right, let's get started. Sorry, I just love this glitter beard. I just love it. I love it a lot. Now, in order to do a glitter beard, you don't need a lot, especially if you use makeup frequently. I don't frequently use makeup, so some of the cheap things that I purchased in order to work on this glitter beard are, so for the first thing, you're going to want to put a layer of face paint underneath of the color that you choose. I use just basic face painting color palette. And then I also use a very small detailing painting brush because you want to make sure you're getting like really tight lines and being very detailed. The other type of brush you need is a makeup brush. I have a small one as well because I'm going to be doing a lot of small detail colors. If you're doing a beard of all one color, you can get a bigger brush and use it. But I prefer to use this smaller brush when I'm doing multiple colors and lines and more details and such. Another thing that you're going to need is for the base for attaching your glitter is a non-toxic, I prefer Elmer's glue sticks. They're usually clear, the ones that I find and use. That's going to be what sticks your glitter on. You're going to want a variety of glitter colors. I've ordered this glitter online. Now this is not glitter gel. This is actually like the powdered glitter you'd put on like a, a craft, like loose glitter. Um, now be careful with this because it does get everywhere. I've put down a towel. Um, and the last thing that you will need is to keep some makeup wipes handy because if you make some mistakes or if you're taking it off later, you definitely have these handy because it does take a lot of work to get this off. Most of the colors don't stick or bleed into your skin very much, but I have noticed colors that have red in it, either from the glitter or the face paints, they tend to stick around a little bit more after I take them off. So like purples and orange and red and pinks, those tend to be a little bit harder to get off your skin. And the very last thing I prefer to use in order to dry the face paint is a hand fan. So I've got my hand fan, my hand fan handy. That's a tongue twister. And that's to use when you're doing different layers and you want to get it done quickly to gently fan yourself and to dry off those areas. So that way you can move on to the next step quicker or you can just let it stand and dry. Um, some people use blow dryers. I don't recommend that, especially in the, uh, the face painting step because it will make the colors run more. And then also in the glittering step, it will, it could blow some of the glitter off depending on how much of a glue base you put. So now that we went over that, let's get started. Now, the very first thing you'll want to consider is if you're doing this for an outdoor event, you're going to want to put sunscreen on first. It takes about an hour to get this done, but put the sunscreen on first because it's much harder to work around the glitter beard and not ruin it putting on sunscreen and you want to take care of your skin and be safe. I, again, I prefer a non-oily sunscreen because the oils, if it's too oily, it might make it so your colors don't stick. But when I do the glitter beards, I try to look closely to kind of see the outline of where my facial hair should be. Um, if you don't grow facial hair, or you don't have like um, a shadow of facial hair that you can follow, you're free to get creative. You can do this without facial hair. That's why I wanted to show without facial hair so that other people and anyone can try it. I typically put a little bit down on my, under my mustache area and then I have a teeny tiny little patch right under my lip. That's like a triangle. And then I come down from my sideburns all the way to my chin. I don't go too far under my chin. I tend to start from the middle of my face and work my way out so that way I can budget on my colors if I make mistakes and it also helps me to make sure things are even. So if I'm starting in the middle and working my way out and make sure it's not even and I don't have like two different sides by the end of it. All right, so unfortunately I had to do some of the painting off screen because it's very difficult for me to paint the opposite direction looking in a camcorder. So I wanted you to take a look. So, so far I have done um, the green and the yellow, which are the central colors. I um, have continued each color to the ends of my mustache area. And then under the chin, I've brought them both out to where the mustache area ends, so they're even. And then if you look closely, there's a little color right under my bottom lip where I also have like a little bit of a facial hair. Um, now, don't get discouraged if the colors run a little bit because it's an easy fix. It's not gonna be perfect the first time you try. But all you really need is some makeup wipes and you can touch it up while it's still wet. 
but you're going to continue your colors outside. So next I'm going to do, or I'm going to do um, orange on this side and I'm going to do a lighter blue on this side. You can go with a darker blue. I prefer to do light blue because um, it doesn't bleed as much and the light blue doesn't blend in as much with the purple. So it stands out a little bit more. Also in between colors, you're going to want to let the colors dry a little bit. You can let them rest and dry. I prefer to use a fan like I mentioned before. You'll just want to lightly brush fan. You don't do too much because you don't want the colors to run, but just lightly, gently create a breeze. I usually do this about two colors at a time so that this layer is dry before I put on the next layers of colors that are next to them. All right, now as you can see, I've done the next colors. I've done orange and blue, and I took those colors all the way up to where my jaw starts to go upwards. And I'm going to then come down with the last two colors, connecting with that down as my sideburns. All right, the face painting part is done. As you can see, I've got my purple going up my sideburn. And I've got the red going up the other sideburn. So we have all the colors of the rainbow. The next step is your, once everything's dry, you're going to use your non-toxic glue stick and start applying it over where the colored paint is. Now it's important to note that this glue is going to dry super, super quick and it's gonna become ineffective very quickly. So you're gonna to wanna to put it on small areas each time and then add the glitter. So I'm going to first do the application on the green. So you wanna get up in close and you're going to get as much of the color covered by the glue stick as you can. I usually try to do like a pass over and then I dab to get it on a little bit thicker in some areas, especially the thin spots. It's sometimes harder to get the glue and the glitter to stick. So I did the small portion, which is my upper lip of the yellow. I'm now going to take my yellow glitter and I'm going to take my thick makeup brush and I'm going to really just push it into the glitter to pick up as much as I can oh and try not to breathe out your nose while you're doing this I made a mess and then you're going to slowly start dabbing that on to your mustache area. Now I'm gonna do the rest of this in the bathroom mirror so I can see a little bit better and give you guys a cleaner product. All right, I have applied my first two colors, the yellow and the green. I prefer using a lighter green. You can use darker if you want to. Uh, I just feel like the lighter green kind of gives more of that like light color spectrum. I don't wanna to go too dark. Um, but as you can see, I did under my chin, under my lip, my mustache. I usually do a little bit more refined under my lip, but as you can see, it ran a little bit and I did not catch it at first. So it is important to note that as you are applying the glitter to your face, you do not want to use the fan to dry your face. Um, the, the glue will dry on its own rather quickly. It gets already pretty much dry right now. This is just minutes after applying it. And if you use the fan, you're probably gonna blow a lot of the glitter off in its early stages. So I don't recommend doing that. I also don't recommend the first time I tried this, I put glitter in my eyebrows to kind of go with the look. That's going to flake off in your eyes, and if you rub or touch your face, it's going to get in your eyes. So I recommend avoiding that. So now I'm going to apply glitter to the other areas. I'm going to apply to the light blue and to the orange, and then after those dry a little bit more, I'll do purple and red, and we'll look at the finished product. All right, we have the final product. As you can see, there is glitter absolutely everywhere. Um, one of the things that I remembered as I was applying this layer is to make sure you're taking your time and getting right up against that colored edge. On my blue side, I didn't get quite close enough to the edges, and then I had to reapply the glue stick after there was some glitter already on there, and that can be very difficult. And then it, it makes it hard to make an even line. So you can see where it's a little bit uneven on the blue side, where it's very even on the orange side. Uh, I would say the hardest parts are getting your sideburn areas because it's where you have the least range of vision when you turn your head. So you're going to want to make sure you put an extra generous amount of glue there, like really, really dab it to get that, like, because you're going to you're going to be afraid when you see it dabbing that there's going to be too much like extra sticking on there, but that's going to give your facial hair more texture. Now, if you look at this underneath, 
it's actually hard to tell that I don't have any facial hair under there. Imagine how great it would be even if when you do have facial hair and like it's just clinging into your beard. Feel free to add additional things on. Like I said before, you want to put your sunscreen on first or if you have some sort of like foundation with sunscreen in it, but get creative. Like do something fun with your eyes or your eyeliner. If you want to do some other face painting and face makeup, you could even use stencils. You could even put stencils on your face, apply the glue stick and dab on the glitter and give yourself a cool face stencil effect because the glitter is really only a stick well to where the glue is. So if you put the glue in a design, it's going to stick in the design and you can kind of just like very lightly flick off what you don't want on there. So next step is for removal. Now I recommend first pass going into the shower and just rubbing and rubbing and rubbing till you see the colors start stop running off of you. Now when you finish there, you're probably going to have a little bit of the red behind, the orange behind, and the purple behind. Maybe a little bit of blue and some residue from some of the other colors. At that point, that's when you're going to start using your makeup remover wipes. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that this helps you celebrate pride and look a little bit extra with low cost to you and not having to buy a bunch of extra stuff. You really All you need is a makeup brush, a paintbrush, some face paint, a glue stick, and some glitter. That's all you need. And a hand fan. But what self-respecting LGBT community member doesn't already have a hand fan, am I right? And a little bit of glitter. <laughs> Just kidding. Thanks so much for tuning in. There's going to be more videos to come. I know I've been on a break for a while. I got a new job and I've been trying to focus on doing well at that. Please tune in next time. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And if you want to see more tutorials, let me know because it's something I'd be happy to do with like cosplay and different things that I dress up for. So let me know. Comment below. All right. Have a great day. Bye and happy pride. It's promotion time. Hey guys, it's Tommy, the Green Ranger here, and I have a special message for my friend Nick. Go, go to my channel and subscribe. Go, go to my channel and subscribe. Go, go to my channel. Watch more videos on my channels. Go.